Today, we'll understand in a very simple way about thyroid hormone replacement. Okay, so if you take any normal individual, you can see the dotted line there. So they have a normal level of thyroid hormone production, which does not change from day to day, week to week and month to month. And usually thyroid hormone has got a long half-life of almost six and a half to seven days. And it will last for a long time, the thyroid hormone uh, in the body. So the thyroid hormone production is standard and constant for normal individuals. But when you take people with mild hypothyroidism, those people with uh, mild thyroid autoimmunity or they may have a very large goiter or they may have iodine deficiency. So in all these conditions, this thyroid hormone production is reduced by a little bit. Okay, This zone is called mild hypothyroidism. These patients will benefit from thyroid replacement in some conditions. For example, if they are planning pregnancy, if they are pregnant, okay, or if they are having some symptoms due to mild hypothyroidism, which is debilitating for them. Uh, for instance, you have difficulty concentrating or, you know, you need to do concentrate a lot at your work and you're not able to do. Some people, you know, may have hair fall or dry skin. So these individuals will benefit by a small dose of levothyroxine. Typically, it is in the range of 50 to 75 microgram per day. But when you take uh, patients who have got a more uh, severe hypothyroidism. This is called overt hypothyroidism. Even here, the completely the thyroid hormone production is not lost actually. So here, this is called overt hypothyroidism. So these individuals will require about 1.4 microgram per kilogram body weight of thyroid hormone, overt hypothyroidism. So typically doses range in the range of say 100 to 125 or 150. Okay. So there is another category of uh, hypothyroidism where there is complete thyroid absence actually athyrotic individuals who are these so there are some individuals who are born with congenital hypothyroidism so where there is no thyroid gland at all there is thyroid agenesis or the thyroid gland has been removed due to cancer so you have done a total thyroidectomy for some reason sometimes majority of the time it is for cancer sometimes you can remove the entire thyroid gland if there is hyperthyroidism and graves disease and in order to treat it we remove the entire thyroid gland even in that case uh, the patient becomes completely athyrotic. There is no thyroid hormone production. This is also called overt hypothyroidism, but here the requirements are much higher. So in overt hypothyroidism, requirement is 1.6 microgram per kilogram. In athyrotic individuals, the requirement can go up to 2 microgram per kilogram body weight for adults basically. So this is the this is how to understand the thyroid hormone replacement. So thyroid hormone replacement is very simple. You're just replacing the lost function. It is similar to myopia or hypermetropia. I am wearing these glasses because I have a small power. If I remove these glasses, then the my power, I, then there is a deficiency. I cannot see correctly. But when I wear the glasses, my physiology becomes normal. So thyroid hormone replacement is exactly analogous to that actually. So if you do have a, a thyroid dysfunction and if you are on treatment for that, it is just a simple replacement. You actually don't improve the thyroid function you actually supplement the deficient thyroid hormone.